What's going on, NFL YouTubers? Chris back with you guys with something interesting I think you're going to like. Um, and again, you guys will always just give me your final thoughts. You guys have the last say, right? Um, I find this a little coincidental, and I'm going to run this by you, uh, and you guys be the judge, right? All right, I'm going to show you an article that came out, and this is it, and you can go right here. It's from the uh, uh, Moz Curiosity Rover Mosaics Panoramas and Updates, right? Um, and you can see that... Um, you know, you can see right here, Saul 1891, making do with what you got. Okay, now it's by Mark Salvatore, 30th of November. Now, these are important that you remember these dates. Um, now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this. Even before we started planning today's activities, we knew there would be a chance that would be uh, we would be limited on the amount of data returned to Earth following the previous drive. This turned out to be true, as the data delay from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or the MRO, um, did not make it down to JPL in time for us to have a full NAVCAM image covering uh, coverage of the area surrounding the rover and in the drive direction. Fortunately, the limited data availability did not significantly influence our capabilities for the day, which is true testament to the science team, rover planners, and everyone involved in the daily operations. Just listen to that and read it. Now, this one here, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but we'll get pretty close to it. As the data that uh, are available do not show great bedrock exposures and because utilizing Curiosity's arm would have likely re, uh, required all of the data to be downlinked. The science team decided to focus on, get this, uh, on remote analysis in the immediate vicinity of the rover and then to hit the road for our next stop on uh, Vera Rubin Ridge. Okay. Uh, and of course, you can read on around. I'll give you the link to that, of course. Now, what photo are they talking about? Well, if you were to go to here, they have the links right here. And uh, you can click on it. But before I do that, I want to show you guys something because this is funny. Because I asked them right out. And this is what I asked. So is this the only Sol, Sol uh, 1891, that didn't get all of the data or were there prior Sols as well? Now, he does give the answer. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, it's not new, uh, unique. There have been several times when uh, issues with the Deep Space Network, which is that huge satellite dish that they have, uh, communications, etc., have prevented data reaching Earth on time for full plan uh, to be prepared. They will uh, send a simple plan that does not require a drive in dangerous terrain, etc. In the event there is no data from the rover, Curiosity has run out. Commands. In the event it does not receive a new plan, it will continue to require. I'm, I'm sorry, acquire meteorological uh, data, etc. Thank, uh, thankfully, the, those events are rare. Okay, so, okay, that's rare. Now, let me show you something I think is pretty funky because you've seen the video, the, the, the photo. Now, if you click on this one here, it says uh, annotate, unannotated, okay? Click here. Does it look familiar at all to you guys? Does it look at all familiar? Okay, it should um, because I did it here. Okay, structures on Mars, this will blow your mind. Think about that a minute. Now, although this didn't go viral, it still has 37,500 views, right? You can always tell, at least a, a YouTube uploader, can they can just tell this thing just takes off. There's a reason for it. It gets shared on different sites, right? So if that's true, it hit a nerve with somebody. Enough so where they had to claim, get this, uh, that... Oh, yeah, uh, there wasn't, we had to just use just the information um, where it says here. Uh, right here. Uh, what does it say? Unfortunately, uh, as the data is available now, okay. It says, it says uh, the science team decided to focus on remote analysis in the immediate vicinity of the rover and then hit the road which means it's telling me that yeah we this this information is data missing on the back here so we had to just do the immediate you know analysis of the of the area immediately around the rover okay now i i, I got on skype with nev which he's a genius at this stuff as far as satellite views and comparing the ground views as well now i asked him i said okay um do me a favor, just show me any picture you've got that has missing data. And I know you guys have seen this yourself. What does it look like? Now, though, although this is extreme, this is what you call a data loss, okay? You might have actually seen like a little small area on some of these videos where it was just missing here and that was it. Not all of this, but I told him to show me something that was, you know, like really a lot of data. This is data missing. This is data missing up here, okay? Now, although this is opportunity and this is not curiosity, a photo from Curiosity, it doesn't matter. This is what data looks like. 
that's missing. Now, let me show you something else. I then asked him, now this is his pan. Notice the picture. From this little point, see that right there? And of course, it has, it's a distance away. See this white mound? Keep an eye on that for a minute. Now, here is his pan. Let's move over. See, it's a lot larger. So the only difference is, is that this is, this photo here is much further because it is much later. Even though it's, it's 1889, his, his uh, panorama was 1834. Question, why didn't they flag 1834s? Why didn't they say, oh, by the way, there's no data in this one either. We had to concentrate strictly on the immediate area of the rover. They didn't do that. Why? Because I think it's just another way to, to, to basically cover their backsides. Because when I look at this photo, well, not that one, but when I look at this photo, I see this right here. Why didn't they go to the left where it would have showed this here? Why didn't they do that? You only see it from here over like this, and that's what you see. Only a lot more in the distance. Of course, you'd see it like this. Let me do this. Let me try to match it at least a little bit. But it's kind of hard to do that because we're not actually literally pulling away, right? We're just zooming out. But you get the idea. You don't see any of this, though. They completely cut it right here, and that's what you see. See it? <laughs> so I find it amusing. Um, and I said, to, I said to Nev, I said, let me ask you a question. You did this uh, MSL 1834, or SOL 1834. I said, did you use any any solves prior to 1834 uh, and then ones that are after? He said, no, this is strictly 1834, and then, of course, I stitched them all together. Okay, so the question still remains. I'm seeing the same detail, and you guys can do this yourselves. I'll leave all the links between this one, this one, and, of course, the one they show, which I think was, oh, uh, crappy. It uh, doesn't matter. It's right here. And, of course, well, it's right there. As soon as you click on it, this is what you get. So when you look at this one and look at 1834, again, they're a lot more zoomed. They're, it's not zoomed in. They're a lot closer. So, therefore, but why didn't they flag information going on this one? I did this particular anomaly and this anomaly, and then it showed you this one here. What this looks like, this slant going up, going up and down, and it looks like this, like a, it's, it's got some depth to it. There's so much in this. Look, look, again, dome. Looks like an opening, opening, and it looks like a doorway right here. Come on, guys. Come on. You know, it's just another way to cover their backside. I mean, NASA, do you really think we're that stupid? And it's, again, I raised the question because I'm going, okay, but you didn't say anything about this particular photo, when it, well, the, the rover photos, when it was back here in 1834. Suddenly, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a major problem here. Uh, we just couldn't get all of the data because, uh, well, for whatever reason, it said it couldn't, JPL couldn't upload it fast enough to Earth or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it just it's just coincidental that it just happened to have a few views. And it didn't go viral, but there's a few views in a couple of weeks, right? And I'm saying, so did somebody from NASA, and you guys got to know NASA's watching these. You, I mean, come on. So I think this, they felt compelled to come out with this, with this lame excuse. At least that's my view. What do you guys think is going on? You guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I don't think this is mere coincidence. I think that they just went, oh, yeah, um, this this is what we'll do. We'll tell them, right, that this is there's no information back here. So the guy that did this video, that guy, Chris from Mars Anomalies, everything he found in this video, yeah, it's bogus because there's no detail. And so therefore, he couldn't have found these. Oh, horseshit. And, excuse my French, guys. But I just don't believe that in a million years. Of course, you guys may have a different view. Let me know what you guys think because I'm just looking at this and I'm going, what? And again, I asked the question, you know what I'm saying? Um, and again, from 1891, and why would they leave a link for 1889? When you click on it, here it is. I'm going to just right-click because I don't want it to open up this box. We're going to right-click up here, and here it is. Why is it 1889 instead of 1891? They didn't flag this one, but they flagged 1891, and yet they still, all three of these photos, whether it's 1889, 1891, and as well as 1834, they didn't flag this one. How come? But they just felt it imperative. All of a sudden, you're talking, what, 13 days later? Because uh, my video was put on the 17th, as you can see. And on the 30th, I believe it's the 30th. Let me just double check because I could be right there. On the 30th of November. So we're talking, what, 13 days later? It had time to circulate. Suddenly, boom. Oh, wait a minute. There's no information in this photo. And again, come on. This, this is what... This is what a photo looks like when it's got lack of data. 
because I've always seen like little boxes here uh, or, or like that. And this one has the extreme, of course, but because you don't see too many of these. But this is what you see gobbled information or data that's jumbled. And you see this right here. I think this is just to hide stuff, to be quite honest with you. But whether it is or isn't doesn't matter. This is what they've always showed as data missing, right? So anyway, you guys be the, uh, you know, you guys be the judge of this. Let me know what you think, because I just look at this and I just go, oh, this is hilarious. This is great. Uh, but you guys tell me what you think. What do you think is going on here? Um, I'm not seeing a difference in these at all, other than this photo here. You can see because the rover was probably on a slant, so therefore this is slanted, as you can see. And, of course, you've got this here. And, of course, I can expand this. And this is what they want you to see right here. And they didn't even bother to show this. That's what's funny. They didn't show this part in the video on that particular photo that they want you to concentrate on. Um, but, yeah, I had a lack of information, guys. Oh, yeah. It just... I don't know. I just find it very coincident, uh, co coincidental. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. What do you think's going on? Uh, that's that's my uh, feeling on it. But again, you guys tell me. Anyway, guys, got some cool videos coming up. Stay tuned for those. And uh, we're going to try to knock them out more and more frequently. With that, you have yourself a good day. See you in the next one.